What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. Oh, man, it's been a while. As y'all can see, I'm not in my regular boat. Decided just to retire the old John boat, so I'm gonna borrow the crappy man boat for a while. And, I mean, it's a great little boat. Gonna get me done what I need. Do a little bass fishing out of it. Do a little crappy fishing, you know. It's a smaller boat, but, and it goes a little bit slower, but it's definitely going to do the application I'm trying to do here lately. So, day's objective. We've got my live scope set up. It's about my second time out with it. So, I can just follow along with me. We're going to learn how to get it. Well, I've already got a couple, a couple pretty decent ones in there. I got one about a pound and a quarter, give or take. There were some guys under the bridge, so I don't really like filming around other people too much. So, but we're gonna take this live scope. Uh, I got my new ACC stick. We're gonna test it out today. Uh, we're gonna flip a 116 out jig, whether we flip the little minnow or the little stinker, we'll see. I may even put a two inch uh, flapper on there, not sure. But I'm gonna take my time today. It's a nice day out, and we're gonna go target some bigger fish, hopefully. But we're definitely going to get a limit because there's fish here and I know there's fish in some other places we're going to figure out. So let's go get it. Fish right there. We about to catch them. Good luck, my dude. I'm gonna drop it down on them. See if I can get one of them to bite. There he is, too. Good one. <laughs> That's freaking unreal, guys. <laughs> I literally told y'all. I'm about to drop my jig down to these three fish just chilling. And bam! <laughs> Got him. All right, guys. Y'all see all them fish right there beside the bridge pillar? Every one of them is about 13 foot, of, 13 to 15 foot of water. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Ah, a little squeaker. I don't know if he'll keep. I didn't even know he was on the dang hook. I couldn't have set that up better. I turned the camera on because I figured we'd catch one real quick. Oh, not really. Didn't really think I'd catch one that freaking fast. This one should keep though. The wind is so bad today, man. Yeah, that one's about nine inches. So, yeah, there's a whole freaking wad of them right there. I wanted to use my pole, but I don't think the pole is going to do too good today. Well, I had a, an idea for some other videos, but uh, I guess we're just going to have to do this. I mean, they're freaking stacked right there. So, we just going to throw it out there to let it go down. About, about 12 to 13 foot. It should be on. Using a 411 rod, 132 ounce jig head. I may have to put a split shot on just to get down there faster. Uh, we got the little the little stinker and the crappy man green. But I mean, they down there. Yeah, but I do believe in another 
this little split shot would be probably good. Or I could put on a, a 116 out jig head maybe. Just to get down there faster. They are definitely there. There's no question about that. Now whether or not they want to bite real good. We're gonna find out, I suppose. It's gonna be one of them no edit videos. It's gonna leave the camera running. It's 1.07 right now, so we'll see what we can do in 10, 15 minutes. On You got cars above me, all that. Y'all know where bridge I'm at. So after you watch this video, come catch the fish. Cause that's what y'all be doing. <laughs> I mean, it looks like there's a, a couple decent ones in there. I don't really see a giant crappy in this pod. Which I mean, I haven't been using live scope that long. So there could be a good one in there and I just don't know about it. It would be a lot easier to target them with the pole, but I have to tie up because of the wind. Now, if the wind dies down a little bit, by all means, we're going to put the pole to work. Because this is definitely a lot easier with the pole to be able to target them. All right, I can see my jig right there, and we need to go about that much further down i got one coming to look at it right now oh i thought thought he was gonna come look at it i mean that's another thing about the scope like it shows me the bridge pillar and it shows me the fish beside it but i don't know if they're out here are inside this is really hard to, to justify like i'll show y'all i mean all those right there i mean they're not very they're not moving a lot but they're there the easiest thing to find my dang jig like this either a lot easier with the pole I think I'm gonna switch to the minute oh switching to the minute I mean, I was down there with them. I didn't really get a reaction out of them. So we'll put this bad boy on right here. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put a split shot on. Just another small split shot. It's about a 1 16th split shot right there. Thread that bad boy on. there give it about that much line as soon as i figure out the cast that's going to get me to the fish that want to bite then you start racking up on them. i mean even with live scope just finding the fish ain't good enough sometimes because them jokers don't want to bite sometimes <laughs> I was hoping that split shot would let me be able to see it better, but I mean it will. Again guys, I'm sorry for the wind noise. I can't really do much about it. Find my jig on the scope and let it down. We'll be good to go. I guess one quick.
quick way to cheat, since there's a, a pillar down there, I'm going to let it go all the way to the bottom. Well, until the line starts coming out, stops coming out. Should be about right there. And then we should be able to just do a couple turns up and be right there in them. Because, I mean, they're right off that ledge right there. This fish is like, nope, I ain't biting. It's cold. <laughs> Freaking April the second. I'm out here all suited up. Unreal. the scope a little bit so I find my jig can't find it Restart the video. I can't find my dang jig. <laughs> All right, well, I can't find my jig, but I know there's a dang fish right there. I ain't gonna be over here like, oh man, I can't catch them. Because I know I can catch them. Just getting it down there to them. <laughs> apparently they're like five feet from the transducer so they could be literally right here around this uh gate thing right here i'll back my dang pole up to about right here see what happens That didn't work. I mean, what we may have to do is they could be on that other side over there. I was saying that. Well, I think clamp came off. But that's fine. I was wanting to move a little bit closer anyway. There he is, right there too. <laughs> that's where they're at over there that side of it oh man kidding me that was a freaking good one all right so figured it out there in that, that corner over there so now we got to position the boat so i'm gonna wrap this up a little bit more 
we're just gonna get right in on top of them guys y'all know how i like to fish all right now we should be able to just open our bell you know that might help a little bit just toss it out right there turn the scope over there so we can look at them they all so pretty uh, now we drop it down there and we wait on that big old thump thump hopefully <laughs> dang the wind's rough takes for me guys let me get a bite or two then it's game on wasn't no giant wasn't no giant but it's all right repeat cast repeat cast let that joker fall down there give it a little twitchy twitch Fingers cold. <laughs> that was my excuse. I was sticking to it. I was at we letting out a probably good eight foot. I mean the fish are at like four like fifteen up to twelve. So the fish I'm catching right now is the ones I'm pulling out of that school. I wish I could see it better on the scope, but I haven't got that good at it. I mean they bite. I mean, it's eater fish. Ain't nothing special. But we we grocery fishing. We ain't trophy fishing. <laughs> little night, uh, little dude. Check him real quick. Oh yeah, nine incher. I don't even want to hear the comment. Why are you keeping a little fish? Cause I can. I buy a fishing license every year. All right, same repeat cast. I mean, there's literally like probably 40 or 50 crappy under there. 90% sure that if I sit here, I'll limit out. I mean, that's not an issue, honestly. It's all about getting them to bite. Stick my my right hand up in my jacket let it warm up a little bit i can't feel nothing they're biting pretty good but they're not destroying it i think boats making a lot of noise but i mean these fish are used to noise especially with all the bridge and all that well, not with all the bridge, but with all the traffic on the bridge. I say that, but I believe they might have moved. I mean, there's still some down there. We'll probably catch one this cast. Boom. A little bit of line, about eight foot. Letting it come right down this dang pillar. Because that's where we see them on the scopes, on the edge of this pillar. Don't know the exact location. wind would die down I could whip my pole out and go around there and just annihilate them I, I could target individuals then but right now we just targeting the school fishing like we we always have I mean this scope's nice but if I know the fish are there I mean I can catch them I'm gonna drop this down just a little bit see what happens <laughs> 
I always emphasize repeat cast, but sometimes you just gotta change it up a little bit. So I drop it down and then I can wind it up. I believe I got a bite there. You know, you can come at it at different angles. I mean, every fish is gonna be different. I mean, you see that a lot with the scope though, like having to put it in their face or figure out which side of it's the tail and which side of it's the head. <clears throat> I mean, I've only, I've only had live scope for about two weeks now, so definitely a learning curve to it. Now, if you buy one, you can go out there and catch more fish. Don't get me wrong. But to target individual fish is definitely a learning curve that I have yet to figure out. They're still right there, so I don't understand. I'm sorry for the boat hitting this thing repeatedly. Really ain't much I can do about that. But we'll try to catch one more. But then what I'm gonna do probably is I'm gonna get my pole and I'm gonna go around there and catch one like that and then we'll end the video. I just wanted to showcase, you know, you got a school of fish. On, yeah, and show y'all a school of fish on the live scope and how I go about catching them this way. That one hit it pretty good. Oh, right, that's not, not a nice one. <laughs> They're getting bigger, guys. Check him out. Nice little 10 incher. 10, 10, 11, something like that. Not my split shot down, he hit it so hard. Put it back up there. I mean, it's just another way to use live scope. Now, don't get me wrong, watching your jig fall and the fish come up there and eat it. That's one of the coolest things ever. But I've located where the fish are. I mean, I already know how to catch them once I find them, so. But I really wanna learn how to target the bigger fish because if I ever start doing crappy tournaments, which I really want to, that's gonna be the game changer. Cause like sitting here fishing for these fish, I'd have to weed through all of them to find a decent one. So I mean, we scan the scope around. There's some on that pillar over there too. So I bet if I do this right here, check this out guys. If this works, I can cast up there. Well, my clamp came off again anyway. <laughs> so we'll just turn, pull the motor on low. And just fish around this pillar for a little bit. See what we can make of it. here i'll show y'all what i was doing i was just throwing a little bit past that pillar i'm getting a little bit of line because I, I know the fish are right here at about 14 to 12 10 foot so they're all stacked up in that little section but the one that's going to eat the most are going to come up and get your jig 90 percent of the time like that one i mean that one didn't even bite i didn't even know he was there and we're gonna, we're gonna toss him back in, in the river. But, I mean, it's a prime example. I'll just, everything I'm trying to say, little dude. I mean, this is how I catch them with, with side scan and stuff. I figure out where they're at on the pillar, or where they're at on the brush pile, and I target that depth. 
I mean, this is more precise, but same concept. Anybody can get out here and do it with a, a halfway decent depth finder. Toss it out there, give it a little bit of line. I'm gonna let it pendulum back to the boat. I'm gonna put my finger on the line so I can feel every little tick. Which they really haven't been biting that hard, so that's definitely a key right now. I mean, pretty much looking at it right here on the scope, I mean, this side's got the same amount of fish as this side. So, like I said, I probably can sit here and limit out no damn problem. I wouldn't. <clears throat> Trying to do a couple videos today. If I can fight the wind long enough, I got one video that is just gonna be extremely fun to do. But I don't know if the wind's gonna work with me today. I may have to come out next week and film it. All right, let's get one more. Like I said, guys, I'm just trying to show y'all how, you know, what they look like on the live scope and just how I target them when I don't have enough room for a pole. Cause I mean, there's honestly not enough room to be yanking them out with a pole under this bridge. Mm -hmm. 